Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of the video, today we're going to be doing a MacBook organization and customization video. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Adebisi. I do tech and lifestyle videos on my channel, so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like this video, and also give this video a like if you enjoy it, but let's just go ahead and get started. So this video is going to be split into two halves. We're going to do the MacBook customization organization in the first half, and then we're going to do tips and tricks in the second half. And then I have the early 2015 MacBook Pro, so I've had this for about four years and it's still working just fine. And then I'm also running um, Mojave. I'm not running Catalina yet, but if you have Mojave as your OS, then you should be able to do all of these tips and tricks. So the first customization that I have is to be able to add accent colors to your computer. So you're just gonna go to system preferences and then general, and then you're just going to pretty much pick whichever color that you want for the accent color. And then you can also choose to be in light or dark mode. I prefer dark mode just cause it's easier on the eyes, but that is the first customization. And then the next customization is to be able to have a keyboard as well as an emoji keyboard show up on your screen. So for this, you're just gonna go to system preferences and then you're gonna go to keyboard and then you're just gonna check the box that says show keyboard and emoji viewers in menu bar and then it's just gonna pretty much put like a little keyboard on your menu bar and you're able to click on it and you're able to use the keys as well as use the emojis so i actually found this because one of the keys on my mac is broken and i need to get the entire keyboard replaced so that's a whole nother issue so i've been using this like accessibility tool to basically replace this broken keyboard that's on my key so the next customization that I have is to use stacks on your desktop. So pretty much what this is, is basically it just groups together similar items that are on your desktop. So if you have a really messy desktop, this is a really good idea for you. I have a pretty clean one because I just like it clean. But all you're going to do is just right click the desktop and then you are going to uh, click use stacks and it's just going to put everything that's like similar into a stack so obviously you can see on the screen what i'm describing but i had all of these pngs on my computer all these images on my desktop and as soon as i clicked use stacks it just grouped them all into one stack so this is a really good way to organize files on your desktop so the final customization that i have all has to do with the trackpad so this is something that actually makes max pretty special in my opinion and i would really highly suggest just checking off all of the the trackpad settings and being able to learn how to use them so you're going to want to go to system preferences and then you're going to go to trackpad literally just keep everything checked because these are where like these are just some of the best functions of a macbook one of my favorite trackpad uses is the soft click so all i have to do is just use one finger and it has like a very soft click instead of giving sort of that like feedback of a clicking noise it makes i guess um and then also if you're coming from windows to mac i know that the i'm pretty sure that the scrolling for macs is opposite so i have been using macs for like i don't know over half my life basically but i never got used to the natural way of scrolling so i have my scrolling set to the other direction also if you're trying to do right click you can just use two fingers to do a right click that's super easy and super handy to use as well as if you're trying to pull up your launch pad you do this i'm gonna have the motion on the screen but you I don't know it just it becomes natural to you it's hard to like explain it when you're talking about it but it really becomes natural to you once you've been using Macs for so often but I would highly recommend turning on all of these features for the trackpad just because that is really what sets a Mac apart from well obviously the OS but you know it's one of the things that I feel like is really special about Macs Okay, so that was it for the MacBook customization organization, and now we're going to get into the tips and tricks. So the first tip that I have is something that is really basic, and some people might not know it, I think most people do, but basically you can press the spacebar button on any file, on any clip, anything in your finder to be able to preview that file. So if you want to preview like a little video clip that you took, just hit spacebar and it'll automatically start playing. If you want to preview a Word doc that you wrote, hit spacebar and it'll automatically show you what is in that document. So the next tip that I have is that Spotlight Search is actually a lot more powerful than people think it is. A lot of people just use Spotlight Search to be able to search for files on your desktop, but you can actually use Spotlight Search to search the web, do basic math. You can use it for a whole lot of things than just looking for files on your desktop. So you're able to like search recipes, literally anything that you want, and 
it'll come up on Spotlight Search and open up in whatever your choice of browser is. So the next tip that I have is something that I actually think is pretty cool, but basically if your iPhone is on the same iCloud as your MacBook, you can actually just take a photo or scan in a photo from your iPhone and put it into a pages, a presentation, or even your desktop pretty seamlessly. So what you're going to want to do is just right click on either pages keynote or your desktop, and then you're going to hover over to import from photo or from phone, I'm sorry, and then you're just going to be able to click on take photo or scan photo. So this is something that's really easy to do if you just want to take a photo instantly and just put it onto whatever document or presentation that you're working on. But this is a trick that I really didn't know existed and I think it's pretty neat. And then the next tip that I have is something that I actually use pretty frequently while I was in college. So this is how you're able to get a perfectly 50-50 split screen. So what you're going to want to do is just click that little green button on the left side of your window and then you're going to make sure that you also have two windows. So you're going to click and hold that down and and then that's going to minimize whatever window is on the right and then you're going to click that window and it's going to perfectly put those into a 50 50 split screen so this is more of a visual explanation um it's a little easier to see than it is for me to say but this is perfect if you're taking notes on one side and you're typing some document on the other side but i love this feature and it makes it so easy to be able to split your screen into two perfect windows and then the next tip that i have is that you're actually able to see more details with whatever icons that are in your menu bar so what i mean by that is that if you have your wi-fi in your menu bar you have bluetooth in your menu bar you have whatever in your menu bar you can hit option click and that'll actually show you more details than what you see are in the menu bar than if you just click on whatever icon that it has so for example if you click on the wi-fi icon it just shows you your wi-fi and whatever wi-fi you can join but if you do option click you can actually see your ip address and you can see a lot of other details that you otherwise wouldn't be able to see directly on your computer and then the last tip that I have is kind of not really lame but it's pretty basic so if you want to paste unformatted text onto a document you can actually just do option shift command v and that'll get you pasting unformatted text and this was perfect for me when I was ever like copying and pasting paragraphs into my notes or something like that but it is super helpful to use and it is one of my favorite shortcuts that are out there so hopefully you guys found some of those tips tricks and customization organization helpful maybe you didn't know them before but I do want to talk about one last thing and then this video will be over and that is about storage space so if you don't know where to check your storage space all you have to do is just click that apple button on the left side of your screen and then you're going to go to about and then you're going to click on storage so on here you can see how much storage space that you have left on your Mac and in Mojave I think it was new Mojave you're actually able to see which files and which documents and applications are taking up most of the space so you're able to just go through and delete anything that's taking up too much space I before they had this feature I used to use OmniDisk Sweeper and this was perfect it's essentially the same thing where you're just able to sweep your computer your hard drive and you're able to see what is taking up space on your computer and you're able to just go in and directly delete it so as you can see i'm using i think about 46 gigs on my computer and i'm able to do that because i have an external hard drive so that's something i would really highly recommend buying if you don't own an external hard drive but i put all of my photos as well as all of the videos that i edit on my external hard drive because before when i had them on my regular hard drive on my MacBook, it would slow my computer down a ton. So an external hard drive is probably going to be like 60 or 70 bucks for two terabytes. That's how much I bought mine. And I'll have my link down below. I have the Weston digital passport, something like that, but it works amazing. It's two terabytes and I really like it. But if you are ever struggling with space and your computer is being slow and it's new and you're like, what's going on? Be sure to check how much storage space you're using and try not to use that much of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the vlog style of me holding the camera, let me know. Or if you'd like me to just do more of like standing up and placing the camera on a tripod type video, let me know that too. But I will be back with more videos. If you guys have any video requests, please leave them in the comments down below if you want me to do a part two of this because these were just like super, you know, just a couple of tips that I had. But if you want me to do a part two, let me know as well. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.